Major Ole Kilko, head of the investigation department, Ministry of Internal Affairs in Cherkasi Oblast. Criminal proceedings have been started against the company of Cherkasi Silicat Boot and the Dobrovolsky's holdings due to the arena roof cave. You're saying criminal proceedings? Are there any victims involved? Yes. A citizen of Ukraine, uh, Vyovska Stella Vasilivna. She's in critical condition at the regional hospital. We don't have anybody under that name. Yehor, do we have an employee named Miss Vyovska? Why was she at the construction site that night? The investigation will answer these questions. At the moment, we're impounding all the documents pertaining to all the construction work of the sports arena. Our paperwork on the construction is exhaustive. We've got the required licenses. I can assure you, there were no violations committed. We'll see about that. Excuse me, have you already examined the scene in question? What did the company security guard say? And the victim, do you have any witnesses? I'm not at liberty to divulge to any of you an account of the findings of the case. I'll call you for questioning if I find it necessary. Goodbye. Goodbye. The roof? What did the, the Bravalski say? I was also shocked to hear what happened. Mm -hmm. I see. Thanks for letting me know, bro. He said the roof of the swimming pool at the Dobrovolsky Sports Arena Complex. It just caved in just last night. Oh my god, I was going to take the baby there today. That's awful. Did anyone get hurt? Hannah didn't mention it. Who's responsible for that disaster? Can you tell me who? Well, at least it happened before the grand opening. People could have gotten hurt. But how did it happen? It's such a solid construction. Huh? You're asking me? I'm just saying. Poor Carolina. What with a baby and all. She doesn't need this stress. Mama Olya, what do you think of that? I think the Dobrovolskis can handle it fine. <laughs> how could it happen if there were no violations? And all the required paperwork we have is in perfect order. I think we should check the details again. Even if the documents were impounded, we should have duplicates, right? Yes, of course. Good. Anyway, there will be an independent expert examination who will find out the real cause of the accident. I'm worried about this woman Stella Biovska and her present condition. I think we should visit the hospital and see what we can do for her. Yes, we should talk to her. Her story might help us figure out what exactly happened at the arena that night? Let's go. Yes. Do me a favor, Yor. Please prepare the copies of the arena paperwork while we're away. Okay. I will do it right away. How can I help you? Hello there. I'd like to talk to the detective in charge of the case of the sports arena complex which is owned by the Dobrovolskis. Can you direct me to them, please? May I ask what your relation to the case is? Are you a witness? I'm Denis Dobrovolsky, the general director of the Dobrovolskis holding. Sergeant Pokotilo. I've just come back from Kiev and would like to get to the bottom of this. Detective Olikilo is in charge of the case, but he is... Oh, here he comes. Are you waiting to talk to me, Denis? Yes. I need to know what's going on. I'm sorry, I don't have time right now. I'm very busy. I think you can afford to talk for ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes it is. I want to know exactly what the grounds are for the accusations against Cherkasi Silicat Bud and the Dobrovolsky's holding. You are mistaken, Dennis. Nobody's accusing anyone of anything yet. But I have my suspects. I have some theories and other relevant factors. What factors are these? 
A lot depends whether the victim survives and recovers, and whether she decides to sue you or not for physical damages. Also, it depends on the report of the experts and their findings on the real cause of this careless accident, and whether the contractors or the owners are to blame. You have any more questions? I have no more questions for now. Just a warning. Make sure this case is handled with transparency in accordance with the law. Of course it will be. You can count on us. We always stick to the law. Perfect. Thank you and goodbye, Denis Dobrovolsky. Goodbye. The patient Stella Biovska has a broken clavicle and a concussion. She only suffered light injuries. The detective said she was in critical condition. Moderately critical, but it's not because of the accident. Biovska has a bunch of chronic diseases that have nothing to do with the accident of the fallen roof. What do you mean, Doctor? I suspect she is a homeless person with a drinking problem. Still, we'll cover the cost for all her treatment. There's no need, because someone visited her this morning and took care of all the hospital bills. Could you tell us who this person was? I'm sorry, I have no idea. He said he was Biovska's distant relative, but I don't think she really recognized him. The effect, most probably, of her concussion. Would it be possible, Doctor, to see the victim? Why not? I was going to check on her anyway. You can join me. Thank you. Everything was working perfectly for me in Kiev. I've been offered several fantastic projects. Then Karolina calls me and asks me for help, and now I'm trapped here in goddamn Trakasi. By the way, I had to decline a gig at an office party for an oil company to be at the opening of this goddamn sports complex. And now this roof. It's just perfect. If I hadn't said no to them, I'd not only have made some money, but also made some new contacts. And now I have nothing at all. Except for moral and financial loss that nobody's going to compensate me for. Right, you have indeed suffered the most loss. Carolina should pay you for all the work you haven't actually done yet. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I see Carolina has found her champion now. Is it because she was so impressed with your job as a weather girl? What a fantastic career. Think whatever you want, but... Carolina actually helped my dream to be a host come true. By the way, which company's gig did you have to give up? The name of the company? Oil and Gas Unlimited, why? They asked me to do it and I told them yes. Life is just perfect. Sorry, but I'm off to the party. Hello, madam. May we come in? Oh. I know her. She helped me find Hannah before. Do you remember me? I don't know you. Who are you and what do you want? I'm Karolina Dubrovalsky, the CEO of Trakasi Silakatbud. Our company constructed the sports arena complex where the accident took place. This is Vadim Sidorenko, the company's chief of security. We are very sorry that you've been hurt from the accident at our construction site. We'd like to offer you our help with whatever you need. Ah. You want to sweep it under the carpet here? It won't work. You've injured me. Look. You almost killed me. I'll bring you rich guys to justice. I'll sue you for millions. You rich people think you can buy us poor people well. Now it's my turn, you see. I'll take my million if you don't mind. Oh. Well, that's your right. But could you explain to us what you were doing at the site in the middle of the night? Did the guards let you inside, or did you sneak in? Who are you to interrogate me, huh? 
You have no right. Besides, I shouldn't get upset. Enough. Goodbye. Leave me alone. <clears throat> Are you deaf? I said goodbye. Oh. Dennis. Hi. Hi, Lesia. Hi. I haven't seen you in ages. I wanted to meet up with you when I was in Kiev on a business trip, but unfortunately you were out of town. Yes, I've been traveling a lot for work lately. How are you? Never better. You probably heard already what happened at work. Is that why you came? Yes. I can't believe it. It's so horrible. We'll sort it out. We'll find the culprit and then begin rebuilding the arena. The opening celebration of the sports complex will not be stopped. I look forward to that. We should have coffee together sometime. I'd love to. Let's keep in touch then. <laughs> See you. All right. Bye. Hello? Dennis, are you there in Chikasi? Any news about the accident at the sports complex? We don't know the cause of the accident, yes, but it's not my focus now. A detective, Ole Kilko, is on the case. I've dealt with him and I don't trust him. I want him replaced. Well, that's perfectly understandable. I have a request. Could you meet with a friend of mine? He's in Kiev. His name is Pavlo Chernyavsky. Um, the MIA general? He's a friend of Rihori Markovich, right? Exactly. Please explain the situation and ask him to do what he can to replace the detective. I do it myself, but I have to stay in Cherkasy, and this isn't the kind of thing to be discussed over the phone. We all need a fair and transparent investigation. Mm-hmm. Right, I'll set up a meeting with Chernyavsky and pass your request on to him. I appreciate it. How are things at the company? Uh, it's under control, but we need to sort out the arena accident as soon as possible because it can affect the company's current stock prices. The situation is critical, of course, but I'm doing all I can. I understand. Excuse me, I need to take a call on the other line. I'll talk to you later, all right? Hello there, sis. Hi, brother. Are you in Cherkasy? Yes, and I've caught up with what's happening. I'm at the business center at your office. Where are you guys? We're at the scene of the accident. We'll be there soon. I'm so nervous. What if I said something wrong in the interview? I will look stupid. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure you did great. Mom, listen to Zoriana. Besides, the program isn't a live show. Mm-hmm, that's true. They'll cut out the bad parts and leave only the best ones that they can use for the show. I don't know. I'm still so nervous. Why did I even agree anyway to do this interview? I have arrived! Let the show begin! I brought you cakes, and I know... They don't look pretty, but they are tasty as hell. <laughs> Trust me. I tasted two on my way here. Are you trying to sell them, or are you confessing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, with a 100% discount. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Help yourselves. Zoriana, how about tea for everybody? No problem. No, 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 no. No time for tea. It's starting. Would you like to watch it with us? Oh, I would be honored to join you. Today on our show, Among the Stars, we visit the studio of a famous Tercassi based artist, Lada Fomenko. Over the past few years, she has become very popular with the locals in Ukraine, winning the audience with her bold and innovative technique in the art of painting. Let's get to know her. Lada, I'm looking at your paintings and asking, how did you come up with this unusual technique? Well, it was a long process that has taken me most of my life. Thanks to my family, I was able to make my dreams come true. As far as I know, you're running a few social projects in addition to your own personal work, am I right? 
Yes. So, a few years ago, I started conducting classes, plein airs in the park, which was open for everyone. Now I also teach other art classes for children at orphanages. They give me so much energy that I feel like my batteries are recharged somehow. <laughs> You look great, Mom. Mm-hmm. You're holding up really well. This amazing woman possesses a fantastic mental stamina. But behind her positive attitude and great smile, there hides a horrible truth. Lada suffers from AIDS. It's a fatal disease that is killing her little by little. There's still no known treatment for it, and living every day with the fact that you're a constant danger for the people around you, for the children, is nothing but immense suffering. Knowing that every day might be her last one, this beautiful woman works with fervor, giving away all she has into her passion for art and expressing her suffering through her painting, despite her disease. Who knows, maybe this painting she's working on might be her last work of art. This is what I was talking about. I told them about my paintings and my travels and my work with the kids. The crew must have seen your medicines and surreptitiously filmed them, and they found out what they were for. The sneaky bastards, huh? Yes, I didn't have time to hide them. So that's why the crew arrived before the arranged time. In any case, they had no right to speak on their show about your diagnosis without your consent. What shall I do then? I don't think people will appreciate you less because of the show. You, your paintings, or your work with the kids. That's the point of the show. Don't worry about it too much. Hmm? Sorry, Anna, it's time we put the kettle on. <sighs> right. Yes, let's have tea. Dennis, we used only high-quality building materials. The paperwork and design plan are in order. The architect? Valery Krikachovsky. You know him. He worked with the holding many times. I know, but we'll still double-check the blueprints, the construction materials, and everything else until we know the truth. We're doing it already. I wonder, who was the person who paid for the victim's treatment? Who was this mysterious relative she didn't recognize? And if he really is family, why didn't he leave his number for the doctors? Why didn't he... visit her again, just to find out how she was doing? He showed up out of nowhere and disappeared to thin air. That's really suspicious. Maybe Boris Natanovich is wrong. Maybe he wasn't a relative, but a... a social worker or a volunteer we have no record of. I've already checked. None of the social services sent their employees to Biovska to work for us. This is so strange. Who could it be? <sighs> well, let's sum it up. We don't have enough facts to find out the cause of the accident. So, let's keep gathering evidence. I agree. Then let's go home. You guys can go ahead. I need to drop by the studio and check on my staff. I'll wait for you. We'll go together. Carolina! Uh, may I ask you something? How are we going to cover the news on the accident at the sports complex on your new program? The same way we cover all the news. Presenting the facts briefly and to the point. Mm-hmm. You look gorgeous. Hey. Huh. <laughs> Anna! Look where Anna is here! Hey, let's go. Zoriana, hello! Hi! Mirosia, look who's here! Anna, 
God, you've changed so much. You look like a proper European lady. Greetings from the Kaluznys. <laughs> I'm finally you're here. Mm, hello. Marosha. Hi. Miroja, do you remember your older cousin? Her name is Anna? She's not sure yet. She's only seen you online. You've grown so big. Mm-hmm. Well, it has been three years since you were here. My dear boy, it's so nice to see you again. Can you come to Chekasi more often? Not just when something bad is happening and you're forced to come home? Grandma, I don't spend much time in Ukraine, let alone home. The company is now expanding and we are working more proactively with our foreign partners. That's why I'm always on the road. What will happen to our business now that the sports complex is destroyed? Jana, what are you saying? It was only the roof. Why don't you just go get us some more snacks? That's what they're saying. The news is all over the internet. Son, mm. were you able to find out what caused the accident? We don't have any leads as of yet. Hmm. Karolina and Vadim went to the complex, but they couldn't find out the cause of what happened. We need to clear the debris, but we can't do that because the investigation is still underway. Mm -hmm. We need to wait for the result from the experts. I brought this for Marosha. Oh, wow, cool. Thank you. Now I know for <laughs> sure what she'll wear on her next birthday. I hope the size is right. I just imagined her size. Exactly right. I don't know about you guys, but I just love it. So, Anna, tell us all about your adventures in Krakow. Did you like it? Where else in Poland have you been? That would be a long story. It can wait. You're tired and hungry after your trip. We haven't even served dinner. All talk can wait until after we eat. Let me help you prepare. No, no. Sit. We got it. You need to rest. Here, have a seat. Oh. So how are you in this lady's kingdom? Loving it? Like a king. See this? I just sit here with you doing nothing. Good evening. A terrible accident has happened in Tricassi. Just yesterday evening, around midnight, the roof of the sports complex, the arena whose grand opening was supposed to be scheduled for today, suddenly caved in. The sports arena was constructed by the holding company of the Dobrovolskis. Using manufactured and marketed construction materials by the company Tricassi, Silketbud, this factory is one of the several companies the Enough. holding owns. This news has nothing to do with us now. One person was hurt in the recent accident. The woman has a fracture and a concussion, but fortunately she only Why are had you minor watching injuries. TV in the dark? It's not good for your eyes. The investigative actions are underway at the scene of the accident, but no details mm -hmm. have been made public yet. Sitting here hungry all day? You haven't eaten any food I left you. You know you shouldn't take your pills on an empty stomach. Or did you even take them? What about your exercise? Well, that's okay. We'll do the exercise together, all right? I'll be here to assist you. I'll heat up our dinner after, and then... Can you just stop? Please stop fussing over me, okay? Can you tell me what exactly happened in the sports complex, apart from what they're saying on TV? No. Sorry, but I can't tell you anything. The thing is, I don't really know what's going on. Carolina was out of the office almost the whole day. And when I finally saw her, I didn't ask her questions. Although, I must say, she's holding up well even though she's worried. Did Dennis come? Yes.
I can't believe. So many years have passed. Anna and I wrote this and posted it. Everything is messed up. This is wrong. Son, may I come in to talk? Of course. I just came by to say goodnight to you. Thanks. Son. I'm worried about you. Why? I'm all right. Hmm. I knew you would say that. After what happened to you three years ago, it would be hard talking about it. But I'm not blind, you know. Tell me. Do you have a girlfriend? Mom, I'm so busy at work that I have no time for dating, let alone a relationship. Have you been in contact with Anna? The real Anna? No, I haven't talked to her at all. I haven't heard a thing from her in three years. All I know is she's in Krakow and she's working there. Well, okay. Good night, then. Are you seeing someone in Krakow? I don't... What exactly do you mean? I mean, a guy, of course. Is there... anyone worth dating among your co-workers? <laughs> No, there's nobody. I'm very busy with work. I have no time for this. I'm sorry. Well, I knew you would be busy because that's who you are. But what else do you do there? In your spare time, do you go out? Yes, I do. I go to concerts, festivals, museums. On weekends, I visit the neighboring towns on excursion trips. Is that it? I was hoping for a more romantic story. Maybe I'll hear one from you next time. Maybe. I'll go shower. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going out today. Cuba, why is she dressed like this? She'll get dirty at the playground. Just change her into good clothes when you're back. I was going to, but Mirosia is stubborn. She wouldn't give up her dress. <laughs> she keeps running away from me, and then she starts crying. So I thought, let her have some fun. A birthday happens just once a year, Mirosia, right? If she gets dirty, I'll wash it. Anna! Anna, we're ready to go! and take her for a ride in the carousel. <laughs> Me too. Yuba, she's so pretty and looks like it fits her just perfectly. It does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, let's go. Mirosha, we're ready to go now. Daddy's waiting for you. The ride's too. Come on, Daddy is waiting, come on. I'm right here. Come on, baby, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Are they gone? Yes, they went for a walk. This is gonna be great! Good morning. Morning. I managed to talk to General Chernyavsky about your request. Unfortunately, he said there was nothing he could do. Do you have any other ideas how we could get the assigned detective replaced? 
No, I have no alternatives so far. The thing is, I tried to solve this problem in Cherkasy, but the request was denied. Um, I hope Pavlo Yuriovich would help, but... Well... We'll just have to keep a close eye on Detective Kilko. Actually, my meeting with Chernyavsky wasn't completely useless. I've got some inside information regarding the details of the investigation. The examination report from the experts is ready, and, to be honest, it holds an unpleasant surprise. What did the experts find? They discovered that the construction used low-quality cement. The metal structures of the roof proved weak since they were made of much cheaper alloy than the paperwork implied. Apparently, the documents were altered. Honestly, this is shocking. Anyway, thank you. I'll talk to you soon. investigation of the accident at the Cherkasy Arena is underway. The prime suspects are the Dobrovolskis, the owner of the company responsible for the construction of the arena, and their silicate factory supplying the construction with concrete and other materials. All in good time. Be patient, Yana, be patient. You just need to wait a little bit longer. I want Dennis and his family to suffer as much as I did. I have nothing left. Nothing. All my life, all my dreams were destroyed. I lost my baby. And now I'm locked in this mental hospital like a trapped animal. Without hope, without a future. Dennis, why didn't you visit me even once? Oh, to hell with all these tales about love. Not to worry. I'll make them pay for all they've done to me. Dennis and his family. Everybody who went against me. Everybody. I'm ready. According to the examination of the experts, the roof that fell was our fault. Low quality concrete, the beams, Den, this is impossible. I can't believe it either. If the investigation team finds out about this report, we'll all be in big trouble. How could the low quality materials make their way to the construction site? Den, I'm 100% certain about our factory's production. It's certified and has high quality standards. Wait. Could the materials be swapped at the construction site? Yes. It would mean... I'm sure that this is an inside job. What we need to find out is how and when this replacement of the materials took place and who was behind it. You are Alexievich. We need you to come to the office immediately. Right. Uh, wait here for a minute. I, I'll get it. Hello there, madams. Oh. I won't stay long. I'll just pick up the birthday cake for Mirosha. I mean, Petro and Luba's daughter. We've been hearing a lot about this birthday cake all morning. Jelly candied fruits and cream. Please give our best wishes to the Matvienkos and... We wish baby Mirosha to grow up healthy. Healthy in all respects, unlike their other relative, Yana. I'll probably leave that part out. Oh. Please send my best wishes to Petro, Yuba, and Mirosha. I'll be sure to tell them. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Why didn't you go with him? Can't you see I'm busy, Katerina Ivanovna? Maybe next time. You're leaving. 
I can't believe you did it. I'm going to miss you too. <laughs> I'll call you real soon. Just make sure nobody's around to hear you. Of course. I'll also delete all text messages after I read them. I remember the plan that we agreed upon. That's good. Nobody can know that we're still in contact. <laughs> <laughs> Close contact. <clears throat> so when do you think I can see you? Next week, perhaps? Mm, that's too soon. You know my family will keep an eye on me after I'm released. I'm sure of it. We have to wait for them to relax a bit. I'll let you know. I'm just curious. What are you planning to do once you're out there? I don't know. I'll probably eat some homemade food, take a warm bath, and finally sleep in a comfortable bed. And uh, your ex-husband? You're not still going to take your revenge on him or your sister, are you? Of course not. I don't want to go back to the way I was. It was awful, and it ended up in a disaster. I just want a quiet life. I don't know. I want to see my family, my mom and auntie, and to hold my little cousin in my arms. Great plan. <laughs> I'm very happy for you. Well, Max, I have to go. I'll really miss you so much. Me too. But I really should go. We've been in here together for too long. Someone might get suspicious. All accounts for September are in order. The payment orders, too. I can't imagine how they could have replaced the materials like that. I must have missed something. I promise. I'll find out who of my people was in on it, and mark my words, I will have them pay for this deception. And I'll take this case under my personal control. I'm finally out again, and it feels so wonderful. Look how beautiful it is. Your mama Olha and Soriana made it for you. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, my darling. Hmm? Girls, huh? this is just great. Thank you, girls. It's beautiful. Mirosia, all this is for you. <laughs> Can you believe what happened? The ride, I mean the carousel, was out of order. And when they fixed it and got it running again, Mirosia was the first one on there to climb a horse. <laughs> and when the carousel started spinning, you had to run around it because you didn't want to let go of your hand. I can imagine you running around it. So what if I was running around? <laughs> I'm her mother and you. What? He ate Mirosia's candy floss, and we had to wash him in the fountain. Well, it was stinky. <laughs> For some reason, Mirosia wasn't as messy as you. <laughs> You're funny. Mm. Oh, here come more guests. I'll get it. Hi. Hi. Hello there. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello, hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. Thanks. Where's the birthday girl? We brought her presents. Hello, Mirosha. Mirosia. Happy birthday, darling. Ah. Happy birthday, my love. Hello. I hope you like Where is this. She? It's my turn to greet my sister. Lada, can I talk to you for a minute? Why are you so sad? 
I can't seem to forget about the interview I did. I feel so bad. I'm so nervous. I watched it too. That reporter, or host, or whatever she is, has no heart at all. She's trying to sensationalize this story. Don't take it so seriously. There are so many people living with AIDS now. It's not a sensation. Your fantastic paintings are all that matters. They are beautiful. People will love you for the beautiful work you do. You hear? Thank you. Thank you for your support. You're welcome. Hey! Why are you so quiet? Oh. Very well. We're having a party, so oh. let's make it loud. Where is Mirosha? Where are you, my baby doll? Look at the beautiful birthday cake beautiful. from your Auntie Jana. Let me help you with that. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Excuse me, we don't make ugly cakes. So, are we partying or not? Careful. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Thank you for helping me get out. I couldn't take that loony bin any longer. And did you arrange the sports complex accident? Of course I did. Good job. What's next? I'll drive you home. You need to rest tonight because tomorrow will be a big day for both of us. I wonder where Vadim and Dennis are right now. Come, 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 give me the baby. Why don't you make a call to Vadim and ask what's happening? Because we're getting worried. Vadim, where are you? What's taking you so long? We're worried. No reason? Okay. Well? They said that they just need more time. They have to talk to someone and it's important. Is it somehow connected with that fallen roof at the sports complex? Yes. Uh... Now we know who was playing a dirty game with this concrete. Someone lined their pockets well. I thought more of- I considered him a decent person. Hello. Good evening, may I? You wanted to see me. Have a seat. These documents before you are evidence of a theft of construction materials. And you knew all about it. You'll go to prison for this. Tell me, to whom were you selling them? I'm guilty. People from Kiev approached me and they are buying stolen materials. They offered me good money for the materials and uh, I couldn't resist. Do you realize what you've done? You caused the accident. People could have died. No. I would never expose innocent people's lives to danger. You know I've been working in construction for years, and I can assure you that replaced concrete could not have caused the fall of the roof of the complex. Oh, people who made this report are either idiots or crooks. You should refer to real specialists, engineers, architects, to confirm my statements. I would be crazy to provoke such an accident at the construction I'm in charge of. Why should I set myself up? Still, the accident happened. I think you really need to look at the real cause of this so-called accident. It's not my fault, I swear. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.